Hey guys, it's Autris from Why Bookmark. It's my first time doing this, but I want to do a December to be our to be read list. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna be really busy reading in December. That's what I plan to. I'm really really excited for December because I'm gonna be able to read more since my semester will be over, and it's also my birthday, December 16th, which I'm really excited for. So I have a lot of books here, starting with. 10 books that me and one of my friends, we both have all these books on our shelves, and so we decided that we were going to read them at the same time. So that, we're going to be doing that, and here are the 10 books that we're going to be reading. The first book is Deadly Cool by Gemma Halliday, and it seems really short. I heard it was really, really good, really quick and fun. Um, so that's why this one's first, and I'm excited to read this. These are all books that I've been dying to read because they're on my shelf, and I just haven't had time to read them because I keep getting more books, and so, yeah. The Secret Year by Jennifer R. Hubbard, and it says, Nothing Stays Secret Forever. So, yeah. Um, Julia Immortal by Stacey J. I heard that this was really good. Anna from Literary Exploration says that I would really enjoy it, so I can't wait to read that. Firelight by Sophie Jordan. It's just everyone's been raving about this, so. Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour. It seems like a really cute read, so look. It has, like, cute little postcard things. I never noticed that. Okay, so I'm really excited for this book now. Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy. It's about ghosts. So. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elko. Elko? Yeah. Um, everyone seems to love this little series. So this is the first book. Crier's Cross. I'm kind of scared to start reading this because I heard that it was pretty creepy and strange. But um, I like her other books. So Ruin, another ghost story. And Glow. Because um, I've been wanting to read this book, and Anna from Literary Exploration sent it to me, and I haven't gotten to it. And my friend has it too, so we're both going to read that. And that's the last book that I'm going to be reading with my friend. Hopefully, I can get through most of these books with her. And um, when we do finish each book, we're going to do um, a review, like a mini review, each one of us, on each book. I can tell you a review, telling you what we thought about it. For Remarkable Reads Readathon that I signed up for, I am going to be reading. I had I have picked out four books that are perfect for winter, in my opinion. And um, I can't wait to start reading them. Wintertown um, by Stephen Edmund. It has, like, little drawings and stuff, so... It should be quick. It comes out in December. And, yeah. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I heard this is a really cute, Christmassy, like, romantic book. And I've had it on my shelf for a really, really long time now. So, um, I'm excited to read this. My One of my favorite books is Nick and Norris Infinite Playlist. And this is by the same authors. So, yeah. And I heard Wintertown was similar to Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, so, yeah. Then I'm going to be reading Trapped by Michael Northrup. It's, um, it's about these teens that get trapped in school one day in a snowstorm, so, yeah. And the last book that I will be reading for that is How to Save a Life by Sarah Zar. I read her other book, um, 
story of a girl, I think it's called, I'm not sure, and I thought it was really good, and, um, this is told by two, per, um, two perspectives, two points of view, Mandy and Jill, so I like books like that too, so I'm interested to see how that turns out, and then, because I'm a tiny, tiny, tiny bit ambitious, I checked out some books from the library on top of all of those. Because I'm crazy. But these are really quick, quick, quick reads. Um, the Invention of Hugo, of Hugo Cabre. And um, by Brian Selin, uh, Selznick. I want to watch the movie, which came out November 23rd, I think, I believe. And it looks really, really good, and so I want to read the book before I watch the movie. But, um, it's really quick. It looks huge, but it's really quick. I started, like, I just wanted to see how I would like it. And, like, in a few minutes, I had already read all of that. I'm on page 76. So, it's very quick. There's, um, most of it is told in pictures. So, it should be really, really quick. Then I got Sweetheart from the library. It's all told in tweets and blog posts, so it should be really, really super quick, too. So, that's why I picked these, um, six books, because they're really quick reads. So, I heard this one was really, really cute. I got Scott Pilgrim, the first volume one, it's a graphic novel, because I love the movie. And so I wanted to check out the graphic novel. I also got um, another graphic novel, Anya's Ghost. And I have heard that it's one of the best of the year. So I wanted to check that out. And I got I Heart You, You Haunt Me by Lisa Schroeder. And it's told in verse, so it should take not even an hour to read and also I have I this is my copy so um, I wanted to get through some of the books at least on my shelves by the end of this year so of course I procrastinate to December and want to fit them all into one but um, it's Chasing Brooklyn by Lisa Schroeder also and it's also told in verse, so it should be very quick. I'll probably read these two in, like, one day. Or several of these in a day. And, um, I also have to read Hushed. Um, I forget the author, but it's, um, for a blog tour. And it's an ebook, which is why I don't have it with me. But, um, yeah, it's for a blog tour. And my e-reader or my touch pad um i can't find the charger right now so i might have to read that on the computer but i will be reading that and my review will be going up or my guest post or blog post will be going up on december 17th i believe the day after my birthday um on top of all of this if i do have time which i seriously seriously doubt, but if I do have time, since this is a Christmas story, I wanted to read Secret Santa, it was on my shelf, um, I think Ivy from Ivy Reads sent it to me, and it just looks cute, I don't know if I'll have time to read it or not, I might just, I don't know what I'll do, so that's what I'm going to be reading in December, or attempting to read in December, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys are reading. Oh, also, I might be reading Incarnate in December, depending. Um, by when Anna from Literary Exploration sends it to me. So, that might be added to the list. And that's going to have to go on top of the pile because I need to send it back or on to another person. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys are going to be reading in December. Um, leave a link below or just tell me. Leave comments. Let me know because I'm really looking forward to what everyone is reading. Thank you for watching.